Welcome back, everyone. When you go to the garden center, you come back with beautiful flowers and pretty plants and plastic pots. They're not recyclable, but they are reusable. So Carson is back now to show us his favorite ways to repurpose them. This is brilliant. What is the first way, Cars, we can be reusing these, these pots? Well, Tracy, I'm with you. I get so frustrated that there's nowhere I can put these pots that is actually recyclable because the black plastic, even some of these pots that are blue on the outside maybe are black on the inside, so mm -hmm. still not recyclable. So I started thinking about ways that I could use these and take advantage of it. I have so many of my customers asking about it. I thought, you know what? We got to do better. So here's some of my favorite ideas. I'm going to set these down. So my first one is I thought, what if I just put a piece of wood in the front face and I turn it into a birdhouse? So oh. this is really simple. I literally put the pot upside down on a piece of wood, kind of like that. I got a pencil in my pocket here. I did a little line all the way around it. I cut it out with a miter saw. I put a drill in the front face and now I have a birdhouse that can hang on a fence. Simple. But then I thought, you know what, I could take this even further. So I did the exact same technique and I made a butterfly house. Butterflies like horse or vertical slats like this because that's how they get in. I actually put one of these up on my fence. I've already got moths living inside of it, which is fantastic. So that's a simple way to reuse them. Even if you only get one or two seasons before it's done, it's still better than throwing these straight into the garbage. Oh my gosh, that is so smart. I love that. It'd be very cute to see those butterflies go in there. Okay, you've got some other ideas for us, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm going to set this up for you. One of the big comp or, uh, comments that people are always saying is when they have a big flower pot, something like this size, do they have to always replace all the soil each year? And the answer is yes. A plant will take all of the moisture, all the material, all the minerals out of the soil, so it has to be replaced every year, which makes it very expensive for people. But if you take a black plastic pot, put it down inside, and then fill all the soil around it, you're going to use significantly less soil, but the plant will have tons of room for the roots to go down. What's also really nice is that little black plastic pot creates an air pocket, and the air pocket actually is beneficial for the roots. They do need oxygen. So this is a win-win, and you're using up all the black plastic. Just remember it's in there so that next year when you throw these into the composter, you remember to take the pot out. All right, so really good tips so far. Absolutely. And you've got even more. I do. Let's go take a look in the garden. Let's go over here for a second. So I like to put plants in pots in the garden. And the reason I do this is twofold. So you can see that I've actually planted a pot in my raised bed with plants in it. Now I do this for invasive species, things like mint. In this case, I've got some aggressive chives that will spread as well. It stops them from spreading in the garden. But what's also really nice about this technique is each one of these is now a perfect little ecosystem for the plants itself. If this plant wants to be a little drier than say this plant, I can do that. I can water just here and not this one at all. The other thing to remember is if you have things like black walnut trees or invasive species of trees in your property that you don't want to lose the trees, but at the same time, it's really hard to plant underneath them. Take the pots just like this. You could even go bigger and plant them in the ground around the roots. Then fill those with nice soil and put your hostas in, put anything you want, because again, the pot protects the plant from competing with everything else. Your black plastic pots are going to be a salvation for all of those plants so that they don't have to fight to struggle to stay alive. But are they going to thrive if you've planted the actual pot in the garden like that? Like, I understand you don't want the mint taking over everything, um, but they can still grow and thrive if they're in the, in the pot in the garden? So much so that this particular chive is four years old. I'm going to see if I can pop it up here. I can actually remove the whole pot. I can transplant it. I can do whatever I want. I could put new soil in. I could fill this spot. It's easy. This tarragon that I've got in a big pot, you can't really see it because it's under the ground. This is five years old and it's doing fantastic. So yeah, absolutely. You still want to fertilize and feed your plants, but in that own little ecosystem, you can customize and cater to what the plants need specifically. Very good tip. Now, I know that the black, the really dark plastic, that can't be recycled. But if those pots come in white containers, can we recycle them or still no? 
And here's the sad part. And I'm going to show you a white one just as an example. I'm going to lift it up here, Trace. So these are some white ones and some blue ones, but they have black on the inside. Oh. My local recycling company will not even accept these. So they take them out of my recycling bins. Same with the white ones. They're dark on the inside. They take them out of the bins or they won't actually take them away. So these end up in the landfill as well. So we got to find a better way, especially for all the gardeners out there trying to be more environmentally friendly. Well, now that we're saying it, you know, here on this platform, maybe we'll start to see some changes because the innovation is so amazing. We know the climate's in trouble if we don't get really radical with this. I have one more question for you, and it's about the cute little butterfly um, house. Is there anything you put in there to attract them and get them in that space? So butterflies will naturally overwinter or take cover in bark, in the tree bark. So that naturally has the vertical slats on most of the trees, especially the deep grooves. So all you need is that light and dark shading. The coloration between the two of them is what's attracting the butterflies. Now, I don't even know where I set it down here, otherwise I'd show you, but that's what it does. So you don't have to put anything inside. They will go inside. They actually like the heat that the black plastic actually creates with the sun on it. They just need those vertical slats and in they go. Listen, we all have our favorite spots. I'm surprised to hear that a butterfly just wants to hang out in the, like in the dark, in the little pot. But listen, if they like it, they like it. Carson, thank you so much. Great ideas. Saving the planet one segment at a time. It's time for us to take a short break. We will be right back. Stay with us. Coming up, Wendy Russell lights things up. She shows us how to brighten